Hi, welcome back to Sensuality. Today I want to continue where I left off in my last video on the subject of refinement. In my last video, I concentrated on controlling the weights of each individual oil in the compound. And in this video, I want to talk about the relative order impact of each oil. Um, in the last video, I had this formula. It was a, a feminine fragrance. It, the theme of the perfume was a, a rosy red apple floral. And I've just taken that same formula and I have readjusted the amounts based on the actual relative order impact values of each oil. In the first formula I did this very roughly just by looking at the values and then working it out in my head uh, and, and now I have actually uh, worked out the exact amount uh, based on the relative order impact. So side by side uh, as you can see the values are somewhat different. Now I do need to mention that in the first formula on the left hand side I made 2.5 grams of compound and on the right hand side I have made only 2 grams. So the numbers don't just reference uh, the relative order impact uh, it also represents uh, scaling my perfume uh, down slightly to two grams so you do have to take that into consideration but in this video i'm going to show you how to work out the relative order impact of each oil relative order impact is a system of blending oils from the perfumer's world it's a faster alternative to the jean calls method the approach involves assigning values to each oil relating to the impact each smell has on the headspace of the perfume. The headspace is the vapor above the liquid, which is the perfume oils plus ethanol, uh, which gets into the nose. And the impact, which is the number value, refers to the amount of vapor that gets into the nose. So if you go to the Perfumers World's website, you can see uh, if you search for linalool, uh, you'll see that it has a relative order impact value of 100. Now, every other material in this system is allocated depending on whether they are stronger or weaker than linalool. So to find the equilibrium between several oils, you must look up the relative order impact of each oil on the Perfumers World's website and perform this simple equation. You take 100, which is the relative order impact of linalool, and you divide it by the relative order impact of each oil in your perfume formula. This doesn't mean that every time uh, you make a perfume using this process, it will smell good. Uh, you'll still have to put the right oils together, but put this information into practice using two or three oils and you'll get the idea. This is basically making the Jean Calls method um, a lot faster because the Jean Calls method is based upon, um, you know, a very uh, 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 physical experiment where you take uh, two oils and you go through a numbered system and you add different amounts of the two oils together until you find equilibrium, the point where they make a brand new smell. Um, but this will get you there a lot, lot quicker. Now, when it comes to the more volatile oils, so we're talking about top notes, you have to invert the equation. So 100 divided by relative order impact becomes relative order impact divided by 100. It's important to add less at the top of the perfume uh, because the closer the oil is to zero, the more evenly it evaporates with the rest of the perfume. And if you don't do this, what happens is that you create a step in the perfume and instead of your notes evaporating gradually with the rest of the perfume, they escape rather abruptly. If you want to scale your perfume up or down, because as an example, if you take galaxalide and um, uh, in a 50% dilution in DPG, it has a relative order impact of 60. Now, if you take 100 and you divide that by 60, you get 1.6. So you're adding 1.6 of, uh, uh, of galaxalide uh, to your perfume formula, which will make up your compound. Now you take all of your other oils and you put them together and you, you, know, you base them all on the relative order impact. Uh, and you have a bunch of amounts, but you know, they're not going to add up to 100 or 1000. So what you have to do then is you have to scale them up to 100. So if I open up the Perfumers World's uh, website, on their website, they have, I think it's called the Perfume Wizard. Uh, and there's a few different options in there. One is to make up your own formula so you can write your own formula within uh, their website. Um, and basically you use their inventory. Uh, and this is basically the perfume that I'm talking about. Now, 
as you can see, this has been scaled up uh, to 100. And then what I've done is I've then asked to, uh, it to scale it, it, it to uh, two grams of compound because that's what I want to make up. So we've taken these original amounts and then we've scaled it all down so I can make two grams of compound. And there we have uh, the new values. So that's what you're seeing on this right hand side now. And basically it's as simple as that. Now, I really like the one on the right hand side more. It, the one on the left hand side still smells good, but if you compare them side by side, uh, you definitely got more equilibrium going on on the right hand side where I have actually worked out uh, the exact relative order impacts of each of those oils. So just like the Jean Cause method where you are um, taking that number system where you're adding a certain amount of drops of this oil and a certain amount of drops of that oil and you're working through the numbers to find the, the best ratio where you find equilibrium between them and you know where they create a brand new smell. Um, so yeah, that's exactly what's going on here in the right hand side. Uh, the, all of these oils within this perfume are, you know, you can smell them within the headspace of the perfume with the exception of Savet, which I kept low on purpose and also aldehyde 16 because I don't really like it uh, but everything else is, is definitely based on the relative order impact. Now I would advise that you take two or three oils and just make simple accords and try this out. Uh, it really will improve your perfumery. Let's face it the Jean Cause method you're going to use a lot of materials. Um, the experiments are astronomical uh, on the Perfumers World's um, YouTube channel, you can watch several videos relating uh, to, you know, learning how to make perfume uh, and they cover relative order impact uh, within those videos. And uh, I think Stephen, he mentions that if you go to the Givardin uh, Perfumery School, then basically you will just spend weeks or months even just, you know, combining, um, doing all these little experiments between these oils to find out the perfect ratios between them. Uh, and, you know, yeah, it's astronomical. And let's face it, if you're making perfume at home, uh, you probably don't have the money to do this, to buy all of these materials. But yeah, time is also a factor. Um, this really helped me me uh, because you know it, it does seem to be quite an efficient way of making a perfume based on the scale it's not to say that sometimes you don't need to tweak things uh, but it will really improve uh, your perfumes if you take this into consideration that's all I have time for in this video. I'll be making another video in the next couple of days. We'll talk more about refinement. I think I'll take this perfume one step further because I think it could do with a, another fixative or two and we'll try to make something really, really nice. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll be back soon.